Hi Marsden, this is a tutorial on how to insert a picture of yourself into a different photograph or um, background using Photoshop Elements 10. To get to this screen I've used, done three steps already. The first is that I've gone onto the internet and found a picture that I wanted to use as my background and saved it. Um, I also opened up Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 and when given the option of organize or edit I chose edit. I did that prior to starting because it takes a really long time to load. Um, I only have five minutes to do this recording so I might move very quickly so feel free to pause and go back and um, review things as you need to. We start by opening a new file so we do file open and I'm going to choose the photo that I'm going to work with. I'll work with this photo of Jessica. I go file open again and I find my background. Now the background that I chose I saved in Marsden oops not far enough Mrs Chegg. Here it is I'm going to put Jessica onto a tropical island. So I select the photo of Jessica double click on it and the first thing I need to do is to snip the actual image of Jessica out of this photo because I don't want this background. I do that by ch selecting the quick selection tool here. It looks a bit like a lasso. When that opens it's um, sorry all we have to do is to click and drag around the outside of the shape. So I click the mouse down and hold it down and drag it around the area that I want to select. Now don't worry if you get parts that you don't want like I just did we can fix that up so you don't need to be too careful hold the mouse down, I haven't lifted up yet and let go when you're finished. Now you can see that that area around Jessica is flashing. Now to get rid of the bits I don't want I go up here to where the takeaway tool is. It says subtract from selection. I click on that. At the moment the brush that I've got is quite big, it's 30. So I click next to it and change it to 10. So I'm using a finer brush to get rid of that area. So I just need to do exactly the same as I did before click and drag around the areas that I've selected that I don't want and again if you go too far and subtract too much we can go back and add that using the tool next to that one which is the plus tool. Okay I'm happy with what I've selected so I go up here to the move tool and click on that and you can see that the whole area is selected. Now I'm going to click on Jessica, hold it down and drag up to the top here where it's got my background file and then drag it down. Now when I let go she's going to look enormous, don't panic, we'll fix it. So now I actually need to drag the picture of Jessica down until I can find the handlebars. There we go. So when I find my handlebars, always working from the corner remembering that if you work from the top or the side you're going to change the shape of the photograph as well which we don't want. Again if I'm moving too fast for you don't worry you can stop the video and go back. I resize it till it's about the right size for the photo. It might be a little bit big because I do want you to be able to actually see Jessica. If I'm happy with what I've done I click on the tick and there we have Jessica sitting on a tropical island reading. To save the file, I go to File, Save As, click on OK. Now at the moment this is a Photoshop file. I don't want it saved as a Photoshop file. I want you to click on the arrow next to it and select JPEG. That means it'll be a photograph file. And choose a sensible place to put it. Whoops. So we'll put it in Students, Marsden, and we'll call it Get Caught Reading Jessica. And I can see that that's spelt wrong, but I'm not worrying about it. And save. Click on OK. And there we go. Now, when you go out of Photoshop, it will ask you to save it again. It's up to you. If you're happy with it and you don't need to work with it in Photoshop Elements ever again, then you just say no. If you think that you might want to work on it later, then you'll say yes and save it as a Photoshop file as well. I don't want to, so I am done.